not buy a house in 2023 unless what? We're living in volatile times. Is the housing market gonna crash or is it gonna turn around faster than expected? If you're looking to purchase real estate, you need the answers to these questions. But understanding the housing market is not the most important thing. Today, I'm gonna to share the top 10 things you should know or do before you buy a house in 2023. But I wanna issue a warning. Home ownership is not for everyone. And for some, the timing just isn't right. Home ownership has loads of incredible benefits and it's the fastest, safest way to build wealth. But if you're not ready, it could be a mistake. As I go down this list, carefully consider your personal readiness. Make sure you watch to the end where I'll explain why you should prepare to purchase a home before the market bottoms out. Okay, let's get to it. Number one, and maybe most important, are you ready for home ownership? Ask yourself the hard questions like, how secure is my job? Do I have enough in savings? How solid is my marriage? First, are you prepared financially? Do you have enough money in savings for down payment and closing costs? You'll need a minimum of 3.5% down for an FHA loan and enough money to pay your closing costs. This could easily be $20,000 or more depending on the price of the home and the fees that your lender is charging. I'll explain how to avoid paying closing costs at the end of this video. I also recommend that you have a minimum of four months of living expenses in savings for emergencies, including loss of employment. I would hate for anyone to put so much into a home just to lose it. What about your spouse or significant other? I can tell you this, buying a house will not fix your marriage. And an ugly ending to your relationship often also equals a significant financial loss for homeowners. Obviously there's more, but to put it simply, be sure to work out any concerns before you make such a large financial commitment. Number two, can I afford the monthly mortgage payment? A lender can give you an accurate monthly payment for a home, including property taxes and insurance. But you'll also want to consider the additional costs of utilities and city bills, which include water, sewer, gas, electricity, and garbage. Don't forget to add in cable and internet too. For some of you, you may need to figure in the cost to live in a homeowners association, AKA an HOA. Don't forget your car, cell phone, and auto insurance, along with your monthly expenses like food, fuel, entertainment, and etc. You'll want to have a clear understanding of your complete budget to make sure you're not stretching yourself too thin. Hopefully I didn't scare you because if you think home ownership is too expensive, you should consider that rent can increase year after year while mortgage payment pretty much stays the same. Within a few short years, your cost to rent could be significantly higher than a mortgage payment for a similar property. There's dozens of reasons why owning a home is better than paying rent, but here's a big one. Homeowners are 40 times wealthier than renters. I didn't say 40%, I said 40 times. That's a massive gap. If you're currently paying rent and that didn't turn your stomach, there's nothing more I can say. Number three, what type of home? You wanna think about the size and the layout considering your current and future needs. Do you want a two-story home or a rambler? How much space do you need? What about bedrooms and bathrooms? Do you need a home office, a three-car garage, extra storage space, and etc. Also consider your wants like a gourmet kitchen, space to entertain, a large yard, or whatever. Number four, what about new versus existing? I'm shocked by how many people never consider new home construction. There are loads of advantages to building a home. For one, everything is new. No need to repair or replace anything for a long, long time. And a home warranty is included. New homes are constructed using stricter building codes and built with the latest and greatest building materials. On top of all of this, new homes are built to match the current trends and styles, both in floor plans and in the finishes. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> when you build a home, most likely the burden of installing a portion, if not all the landscaping falls on you and it can be expensive. A fence, RV pad, and things of this nature are also often out of pocket costs after you close on the home and it will cost you a pretty penny. Existing homes are usually landscaped with mature trees. A fence, storage sheds, RV pad, and etc. might also already be included. But with existing homes, you're more likely to have expensive repair or replacement costs. So you really need to weigh the cost of new versus used and decide which route works best for you. Number five, the condition of the property. Once again, with new homes, you shouldn't have any major repairs or replacement costs for several years. This is why I built five homes. I don't have time or the desire to repair or replace things. And I hate surprises that take away my time and my money. If you purchase an existing home, be prepared to repair and replace things. A friend of mine purchased a large home and within the first year, he had to replace both furnaces, the air conditioning units, and the water heater, among other things, costing him tens of thousands of dollars. Surely that would suck, but there are ways to protect yourself. When you buy an existing home, you can purchase a home warranty plan for a few hundred dollars. I highly recommend it, but you'll also wanna hire a home inspector. After reviewing the inspection report, you can request that the seller make some of the repairs 
or replace things if needed. Or if the issues are too serious, you can just cancel the contract and walk away. Number six, location. Most people prefer to stay in areas that they're familiar with and that's totally understandable, but maybe not the smartest strategy. My current home is built in a location that I never considered. As a matter of fact, it was on my list of do not buy locations. My beautiful wife and I were looking to build our dream home, but we were shocked to see the cost of half acre home sites within our search radius. I extended our range and found a two acre home site for a third of the price. This allowed us to build a bigger and better home that we otherwise would not have been able to afford. And we passionately love our neighbors and the city that we live in. Due to this experience, I highly recommend that my clients extend their search radius in case the perfect property comes available nearby. Saving money is nice, but you also want to consider crime rates, the quality of schools, distance from work, family and friends, and of course your proximity to parks, shopping, entertainment, and transportation. Number seven, HOAs. I briefly mentioned homeowners associations earlier, but felt that I should dig deeper because too often people don't do enough research on the HOA before buying a home and then get angry when the association enforces the rules or fines them. I'm not a big fan of HOAs, but they usually keep home values high in the neighborhoods that they maintain. Most HOAs have a monthly fee that can range from just a few dollars per month to hundreds of dollars per month. Some HOAs have loads of benefits like golf courses, swimming pools, parks, playgrounds, snow removal, and more, while others give you, well, pretty much nothing. <laughs> there are disadvantages you should consider before you purchase a home in an HOA. Number one, the fee will never go away. As a matter of fact, it's likely that the fee will increase over time. Number two, you'll have to follow their rules. Number three, instead of paying a monthly fee, you could apply that additional cash toward a bigger or better property. You should also know that often there's an HOA transfer fee when you sell your home, and it can be thousands of dollars. Number eight, hire a local real estate expert to guide you through the process. First, you should know that a buyer's agent doesn't cost you a dime. Your agent's commission is paid by the seller. Your local real estate expert can provide value, insight, and information on the areas you're considering. They have access to a variety of helpful resources, including the most up-to-date and accurate listing information. Your agent can send you new listings or homes with price reductions daily. A great agent will save you loads of time, energy, and stress by carrying the brunt of the workload. Your agent will negotiate the best pricing and terms, then renegotiate after the home inspection or appraisal if needed, among other things. Number nine, mortgage interest rates. There's a lot of confusion right now around mortgage rates. Are they going up or are they coming down? The Fed keeps talking about interest rate hikes, which has a lot of people confused. But inflation peaked in November and mortgage rates have been falling ever since. And the data suggests this trend should continue. I've recently gone in depth on this subject and recommend you watch 5% rates coming soon when you're done watching this video. In that video, I'll also show you how you can use a rate buy down right now to drop your monthly mortgage payment by hundreds of dollars per month. Number 10, understand your local market. Educate yourself on what's happening specifically where you're looking to buy a home. Some areas in the country will continue to see price reductions while other areas can expect home prices to rise in 2023. If you're in an area where the market is flat or growing, I wouldn't wait another day. For those of you looking to buy in declining markets, you're okay to wait a few months. But remember, there are always deals to be had in good or bad markets. So I would still keep my eyes open for great deals and be ready to pounce if you find something that you love. You might wanna watch my recently released video on how to time the market. Look for the link to that video below as well. One of the biggest mistakes most people make when looking to buy a home is focusing on the price and the price per square foot. You should be looking for the best value comparing the price of the home versus the cost. For instance, the cost to purchase a home from a home builder may be the same as an existing home, but if the landscaping and fence hasn't been installed, you might be out of pocket an additional 15 to $20,000. Or an older home may need a number of expensive repairs. When looking for the best value, you'll also need to figure in the size of the home site, the location, and things of this nature. There's a lot to consider, but an experienced agent can help you evaluate which properties provide the best value. Okay, as promised, I'll explain why you should prepare to purchase a house right now before the market bottoms out. Nationwide, many markets are stabilizing while many others have already seen massive price reductions. Add declining mortgage rates and homes are getting more affordable every day. A lot of sellers are feeling desperate, which means they're willing to negotiate. You can use their fear to get incredible pricing and terms. If negotiated correctly, you should be able to convince the seller to pay your closing costs, then use those funds to buy down your mortgage interest rate permanently, reducing your monthly house payment by hundreds of dollars per month. As mortgage rates continue their downward trend, more and more buyers will enter the market. It's difficult to time the bottom of the market, but it's better to be a little early than it is to be late. 
So get pre-approved and hire a real estate agent to keep an eye out for those amazing deals. You may need to submit offers before finding someone who's willing to negotiate, but I promise you they are out there. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, I get contacted all the time. Please feel free to call or text me with your questions. I'd love to meet you and I'm honored to serve you. For everyone else, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. I always do my best to respond to each one of you. If you have a friend or a family member looking to buy or sell a home, you can easily text this video to them. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring that bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty the Real Estate Guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.